Today's topic of discussion is active immunity versus passive immunity. Now what is immunity? Immunity is the ability of the body to defend against disease causing organism. Every day our body comes in contact with several pathogens but only a few results into diseases. How is it possible? This is because of our own defense system that is our immunity. Now this immunity is two types. One is innate immunity and the other one is acquired immunity. Now this innate immunity is the defense system with which we are born. Whereas the acquired immunity or the adaptive immunity is what? That is not present at birth. But we develop it over our lifetime. Now this acquired immunity or the adaptive immunity is further divided into two types. One is active immunity and the other one is passive immunity. We will discuss the differences between this active immunity and passive immunity. So stay tuned. Now first of all we will discuss what is active immunity and what is passive immunity. Active immunity results due to the exposure to a disease organism which triggers the immune system to produce antibodies to that disease. Whereas the passive immunity results when a person is given ready-made antibodies to a disease rather than producing these antibodies through his or her own immune system. So in active immunity T, there is a trigger of the immune system to produce antibodies. Whereas in passive immunities, there is introduction of ready-made antibodies. So there is no need of their own immune system. Next is, both the active immunity and passive immunity results either naturally or artificially. So, the natural active immunity is acquired from exposure to disease organisms through infection with the actual disease. Okay, now we are exposed to various kinds of microorganisms always. So, this natural active immunity acquired from exposure to the disease organisms through infection with the actual disease. Whereas the natural passive immunity is one that is when a newborn baby acquires passive immunity from its mother through the placenta. The immunoglobulin G is passed from the mother to fetus through the placenta. Thus the baby acquired the natural passive immunity from the mother. Next one is the artificial active immunity. So both active immunity and passive immunity occur through artificially. So artificial active immunity results through vaccination. Artificial active immunity results through vaccination. So vaccine induced immunity is acquired through introduction of a killed or weakened form of a disease organisms and the results in artificial active immunity. Whereas in case of Artificial passive immunity is occur when a person is uh, introduced uh, antibody containing blood products such as immunoglobulin which may be given when immediate protection from the disease is needed. So when the immediate protection from a specific disease is needed then artificial passive immunity is needed which is uh, introduced by in induction of the antibody containing blood products such as immunoglobulin. So the active immunity produced actively by the immune system of the host. Whereas the passive immunity occur introduced passively into the host and the host immune system does not participate. So in passive immunity the host immune system does not participate. But in active immunity, host immune system participate. 
the immune response is durable in case of active immunity that is active immunity is long lasting sometimes it may be lifelong whereas the passive immunity is short lived so passive immunity short lived whereas the active immunity is long lasting sometimes it is lifelong and this passive immunity lasts for up to 3 months to 4 months active immunity is more effective whereas the passive immunity is less effective active immunity develops only after a lag period whereas the immunity that is passive immunity develops immediately because it is results by the introduction of the ready made antibodies but in case of immunity active immunity there is introduction of the either naturally induced pathogen or through vaccination that is weakened or killed microorganisms that triggered the immune system after this triggering of the immune system they produce antibodies so there is a lag period the immunological memory present due to the presence of memory cells whereas in passive immunity no immunological memory it serves no purpose in immunodeficient host the active immunity serves no purpose in immunodeficient host because in active immunity there is a involvement of the immune system in immunodeficient host either there is absence of one or more immune cells or the immune cells are inactive so it is serve no purpose in immunodeficient host whereas in passive immunity it is applicable in immunodeficient host because it is induced by the introduction of the ready made antibodies so there is no need of the immune system involvement of the immune as there is no involvement of the immune system so this passive immunity is applicable in immunodeficient host this active immunity is used for prophylaxis to increase the body resistance now what is prophylaxis prophylaxis is the treatment or action that is taken to prevent disease whereas the passive immunity is used for treatment of acute infection these are all about the differences between the active immunity and passive immunity if you like this video please like share and subscribe to this channel thank you